Hello everyone! Today will be a tutorial on how to compose an image. And I will especially focus on how to cut out hair in the image on the iPad. This is the image after cutting it out. And you can see that this girl's hair is cut out nicely. I used to do this on my Mac, but there is a software on iPad that lets you do it easily, so I want to talk about that today. The app I will introduce today is called Affinity Photo. I've introduced the app called Affinity Designer a lot in many of my videos, but this is the first time for me to introduce you to Affinity Photo. This is a perfect app for image adjustment, image composition, and view adjustment. This app is great, especially when you want to cut out a part of image like this, or make fine adjustment, and so it costs around $20. But if you are interested, feel free to download it. In this video, I will introduce you to the basics of this app and focus on the tools for cutting out the hair in the image. Okay, once you open the app Affinity Photo, there is a small plus button at the upper right, so select it to start. There should be an option that says import photos on the left, so tap it and choose your photo from the camera roll. This time I'm going to select this girl with fluffy hair as mentioned earlier. As I zoom in the part of her hair, you can see that she's got a lot of thin hair. So the question is, how much of them can we select? But before answering that, let me teach you how to use tools in Affinity Photo. We have a tool panel on the left and a property panel on the right. The tool panel includes things like brushes and erasers, and the property panel includes things like layers as well as options to adjust hue. There is also a bar at the top, and this is a bar to switch the mode. From left, we have Photo, Select, Distort, Liquify, Develop, Tone Mapping, and Export Modes. As you change the mode, the options found in both the Tool Panel and the Property Panel change slightly as well. So if you want to select her hair, for instance, make sure to activate the Select Mode. If you want to export the image, switch to Export Mode. So this can be a bit tricky, but once you get used to it, I'm sure you'll get better and I'm hoping to do more tutorials, so yeah, I hope you follow me through. This time it's select mode, the second from left. Make sure to activate the select mode. There's a selection tool at the third from the top on the toolbar on the left, and we'll use this to cut out her hair. There is an option where you can adjust the brush size on the panel at the bottom, so choose a bigger brush size and roughly trace the outline of this girl. As you trace, you should see the dots like this. As I said, you can just do this roughly, even around her hair as well. Once you roughly set the selection area, we will make minor adjustment on the hair. This is the highlight of today's video, so make sure you stay focused. When making minor adjustments, click on the tab that says Adjustment at the bottom right. This will then set the background color red, meaning it's on adjustment mode. But it's a bit confusing to work on the girl with a red background, and so switch overlay from Preview at the bottom to Black. Set matte for the option next to it, then a brush size. It can be too small, so make sure to choose the brush size that would cover her hair like this one. From now, we will trace the hair. Look at this! Did you see it? I think I cut it out really well. The red background is gone. Isn't it amazing?
I was like, wow, this is cool when I first found out about this function. You can just trace roughly. And as you trace the part with background visible, it only leaves the hair automatically with the help of AI or something. Like this, as you can see. So, using this method, I'm going to trace all the parts of her hair. Just like this, the part selected is complete. Once it's complete, click on the apply button at the bottom. This lets the part selected to be outlined. And now we'll put on masks. When doing so, there's an option that says layer mask from the plus button at the upper right, so select it. This will delete the background, leaving the girl selected only. This way, as you can see by zooming in, it's done pretty nicely, even though there are still a few parts left. But I think this is good enough already. In case you want to work on this hair a bit more though, you can do so using the layer mask function. With the layer mask selected, grab a black brush and trace to delete the part selected. For the layer mask, you can trace with a black brush to make it invisible or with a white brush to make it visible where the part disappears shows up again. So make sure to adjust making use of this to add or delete a certain area. Like this, I'm done cutting out the parts, so now I'm going to choose and add a new background. I have my camera roll set up on the right side of the screen. Here, choose your favorite image from the camera roll. Drag and drop the image to insert it to Affinity Photo. You can make adjustments or rotate it too. So set it where you want to be and bring the layer to the bottom. This will let the girl appear on top of the flower at the bottom. Lastly, I'm going to add some text at the bottom of this image to make it look like a flyer. There is a button that says A at the bottom left, and this is the text layer. Select it and click on the screen which will then show the mouse cursor, so start typing in your text here. There are things including font, size, and kerning you can adjust at the top, so set them according to your preferences. In the property panel on the right, there is an option to adjust your text. There is a button that says A to adjust text by setting a bold or kerning, line adjustment, etc. And you can do so much here, so play around with them and see which one you like. Alright, just like this, it's complete. It's better to set your background a little blurry, so it blends in well, so feel free to give it a try. I think I managed to cut out a part of her hair really well. You can easily do this on your iPad, so especially for those who are designers, don't give up on the use of iPad for your design works, and I want you to give it a try. All the design data I used today will be posted in the iPad Mate community, so for those who are iPad mates, feel free to download them. I have many exclusive videos uploaded there, so if you want to master iPad, or if you are interested in my community, Please check out the link in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.